What's going on YouTube? Welcome back to this brand new episode of Restorations with Vic. Today we're going to be customizing these Tinker Hatfield Air Jordan 3s that haven't even came out yet. Steve and the team are out for All-Star Weekend in LA a couple weekends ago. While they were out there, Jordan Brand released a special release that involved Jordan Brand to collab with Spotify and release these through Snapchat for people in the LA area only. Steve was lucky enough to give me a pair to do a custom on. So pretty much what I'm gonna do is, once again, fix Jordan Brand's mistake. Um, the shoe isn't all that. What I'm gonna do is redo the swoosh white, redo this gray area white, and redo the midsoles. It's gonna be pretty dope, so let's get started. So the first step we're gonna do to fix this colorway is tape up the uppers so we can start with the prep work on these midsoles. All right guys, before I get started, I wanna mention it's 2 a.m. right now. I am super tired. I've been filming videos all day. So if I look a little tired, I apologize. Um, back to the shoes. The next thing we're gonna do is strip these midsoles using Stazzy spray. Um, I don't know if you can see, but there's super, super amount of brush strokes all over the midsoles. Um, no crispy lines at all. It's a terrible paint job. Um, what I'm gonna do next is strip them. Hopefully there's no damage to the actual midsole and it's just brush strokes. All right, so we get the majority of the paint stripped off using Dazzy spray. Now using acetone and cotton balls, we're gonna wipe off any remaining residue and paint off the midsoles. All right, midsoles are fully stripped. If you guys are planning on doing this custom or stripping these midsoles at home, plan to take two to three hours on stripping these midsoles. It was a pain in the ass. Moving on with this custom, we're gonna remove the tape and move on to the uppers, come back to the midsoles later. All right, on to the uppers. What we're gonna do next using acetone and cotton balls is prep the leather so we can get ready for paint. All right, uppers are fully prepped. Now we're gonna remove this tape, retape once more, but this time cleaner and more precise. Shoes are taped up, let's lay down some paint. We're gonna be using some Jacquard white paint with my airbrush. White's laid down, laid down nice and even, covered up that black and gray. Now we're gonna remove the tape and jump back to the midsoles. Uppers are all done for now, looks pretty dope so far. Um, we'll come back to that later. For now, we're gonna go back to the midsoles. First thing we're gonna do one more time is tape. Shoes are taped up. Let's lay down the first color on these midsoles. The color we're gonna be using is the same white we used on the uppers. All 
right, so we got the white laid down. Looks good, nice and even. I do want to mention one thing. As clean as my paint job is, the midsole itself is still crap. Um, there's a lot of rough areas. Nothing I did wrong during the serving process. It's just the quality that Jordan Brand is putting out, unfortunately. Anyway, let's move on to the second color, which is this custom red. The colors I used were scarlet red, red, and cream, and a little bit of duller. We're gonna be applying it with the paintbrush. But first, we gotta tape. All right guys, we got the tape off. This is some minor touch-ups. The custom looks good. All we have to do now is go outside to protect this beautiful paint job with some Carlon matte finish. Alright YouTube, that is going to wrap it up on today's video on how to customize these Tinker Hatfield Air Jordan 3s. The original release was okay, but my version, that's how it should have came. Um, it's a lot cleaner look, the red actually goes with the tabs. The black and gray looked a little out of place, so I whited it out. It's kind of a hybrid between the Justin Timberlake 3s, um, the Katrina 3s, and the Fire Red 3s. Came out freaking awesome, here's a recap on what I did. I redid the entire midsole, got rid of the black, matched the red to the back tabs, moved on to the uppers by redoing the swoosh, got rid of the black while whiting it out, same thing with the gray panel, and that's pretty much all I did. It was real easy, the only thing that was complicated were the midsoles. The stripping process was a big pain in the ass. Um, that's the only thing you guys might have an issue with, but other than that, this is a super easy custom to do. Um, like I said, Tinker should have done this colorway, the almighty Tinker Hatfield Air Jordan 3s. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video and find it informative. I'll see you guys next Monday.